Hey, how's it going? This is King Kevin Dorval. Hope all you had a great, wonderful, spontaneous, exciting, vibrant, auspicious, beautiful Tuesday. Now I'm going to have a Testimony Tuesdays as I always do. Actually, I used to always do it, but ever since the King Kevin show took off every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. where you guys need to be tuned in. Let me tell you what happened to me. I'm at work today in the office, you know, minding my business, doing my thing, you know, on the computers. And all of a sudden, I hear my car going off. The alarm. I'm like, what? So, I wasn't sure it was my car, of course. There's other cars in the parking lot. I look out the window and I see it's my car getting towed. Already out the parking lot and everything. I'm like, oh no. So I ran out of sight like a bat out of hell. And I'm on the second floor. And all I could think about was my meeting that was going to take place two hours from that time, which was 3.30 today with the state rep, um, Gwendolyn Clark Reed. Um, shout out to her. She's a photo house state representative, and I just bless her. It's an awesome, awesome experience being with her. We're going to do some great things in the community down here in South Florida, and actually throughout the state of Florida, God willing. Now, I'm like, how am I going to get to my meeting? So I'm running down the stairs, get there, and they have my car door open, and I'm looking at them like, what? The devil is a liar. That's all I can think about. A meeting like this, and I kid you not, I couldn't understand what was going on because I just made a payment over the weekend, so I know I wasn't behind on my payments. So then for them to come and get my car like that, and they telling me that someone called because I was illegally parked. I shouldn't have been parked there. But I work here. I, what you mean, no park there? So it was, you know, a big misunderstanding or whatever. But uh, they're telling me I need to pay them $50 to get the car off the truck. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what you mean, $50, man? I ain't call you guys here. I work here. So um, the Tulsa driver was pretty cool. He waited for the landlord to come out and, and you know, tell them that, you know, I work there, uh, my partner at the company told them that, you know, I do work with him on the second floor and, you know, they let the car go. And I'm just in my mind thinking like, wow, a meeting like this, the opposition that you face whenever you have something great, something of significance that is about to take place, believe me, the devil's going to show his face. That is to be expected. It is inevitable. It's going to happen. So expect it and be prepared for it. And that morning, which was this morning, uh, November 12th, 2013, I called that morning Mrs. Gwendolyn's secretary. I called that morning and asked her a couple of questions on how I can perhaps meet with them, meet with her. Uh, sometime during the week or next week or next month or whatever, just put me on her schedule because I know how busy she is. And she's telling me, you know, she's going to be at this meeting at the government center downtown Fort Lauderdale at 3 o'clock. It's a juvenile uh, advocacy group or a juvenile advisory board or group, whatever the case may be. And then there's going to be another meeting uh, with the Broward County uh, uh, officials regarding uh, something dealing with the system, you know, the justice system. Both meetings I would love to make it to tomorrow which would be the 13th and I knew I couldn't make to those meetings because I get off of work at 5, 5.30 and then I gotta get ready for my my show which is tomorrow night at 7 o'clock which we're gonna talk about what if Jesus was black which is why I showed this book the ISIS paper by the famous Dr. Francis Cress Wilson and this is the keys to the colors it's a very powerful book um, it goes into the psychological effects and the reasons behind racism and, and how racism is a systematic, uh, systematic system or, you know, procedures. It's a process to take part in racism. You know, you don't just wake up and you're involved in racism. She, she goes into the psychological, she goes into the, um, the mental abuse along with that. Um, whether you are white, black, whatever, purple, green. This is a fabulous book. As a matter of fact, I have two copies of this book. This is, happens to be an original copy. But anyway, 
tune in tomorrow at 7 o'clock regarding that. But I called back after I hung up with the, the secretary from Mrs. Um, Gwendolyn's office and she was like, yeah, you just called, right? I said, yeah, I just called. And then she was like, well, how may I help you? And I guess she was, you know, going on her computer, working at the same time. And I noticed on my phone that Andrea um, knows, which was the secretary to, or the assistant to Mrs. Reed, was on my phone. I'm like, hold on, I got this number in my phone. And then it dawned on me, I met this lady back in March in the state capitol in, in Tallahassee, the Florida State Capitol. Uh, the Capitol building, as a matter of fact, and you know, I was uh, lobbying against um, abortion, which was giving kids who survive abortion rights because children who are born with abortion don't have any rights, believe it or not. It sounds crazy, but I'm telling you the truth, they don't. Like, if a child survives an abortion where the parents decide to, you know, have them aborted, whatever the case may be, and if the, if the baby survives, the killer, the, the doctor kills the baby after the fact, he would not be charged with murder. Now, if you pull that stunt, due to the fact me and the Christian coalition uh, down based in Miami, um, us and the Redeeming Word Church, we went up there in a big, big, big bus load of people, you know, protesting against that. And also the Sharia law, which is, you know, the international um, laws regarding marriage and, you know, people bringing up Muslim beliefs into the court system here in the United States, which we were fighting against because if a woman doesn't want to remain married with you um, and, and, and you take, you know, you're a Muslim, whatever the case may be, like you can get away with a lot of things out there in the, the Muslim countries. And they were trying to bring those here in the United States in the court system. And this is the United States. You know, you just can't do a woman any, any kind of way. You know what I mean? You just can't do that. Not here in the States. You got to respect your queens. But anyway, I so I met this lady. I met Miss Andrea there. So I called back just to say, hey, how you doing? By me being diligent and having a vision in mind regarding my documentary, The Courage to Believe, which you guys should know by now, which is going to be an awesome documentary. So I called to say hi and let her know about the documentary. So, but the secretary was like, yes, yeah, she's in the office, but let me ask you a question. That's what she asked me. Are you available? I know this is short notice. But I know you want to meet with her. Are you available today at 3.30? Because she just happens to have an open today. Just out of the blue at 3.30. Someone must have canceled. And I'm like, uh, I'm actually busy, but I can make it. I'll make it happen. She said, all right, all right. Well, come on down. Come in at 3.30. And I was like, you know, I, I don't really want to come. I don't have anything printed out right now. I'm getting some paperwork, you know, edited. And she was like, well, don't worry about that. I got information from your website. Mrs. Reed already seen the information. She's impressed. She wants to meet with you. And I was like, really? Okay. So either someone canceled or she put someone out the way with the favor of God to give me space to do my thing. And we had a wonderful meeting. I just had to share with you guys that testimony. And yes, I still have my car, thank God. And when I do pay that car off next summer, I'm going to have a party. So whoever know where the yacht at, if you're a close friend of mine, or you have good people, I'm going to have a party to celebrate finally paying off my car. The Cadillac, King's Horse. God bless y'all. Thank y'all. Tune in tomorrow. We're going to get into ISIS papers. We're going to get into to the Bible. Um, what if Jesus was really black? So stay tuned in. And I love you. God bless you. Peace.